Riding Mountain in the fall. What a great time to be here. And a great time to be getting some new ideas for paintings. So let's go explore the park and see if I can find some. I'm back in Riding Mountain National Park. I love coming here, especially this time of year in the fall when the leaves are changing. And this park is pretty special to me as an artist. I think over the years and that I've been coming here, I've gotten so many great painting ideas and I've done so many paintings inspired by this park that every year I come back, I just can't wait to get more ideas. One of the things that always surprises me about this park is that even though I keep coming here year after year, I keep getting really great new ideas. There's always something new to find, a new animal to see in a new way with different light and in a different place. So I'm constantly being inspired by coming up here. So I'm just gonna get to going around and driving around to try and see some animals do a little bit of hiking and just let nature really give me some great ideas and give me some good inspiration. So I'm going to take you along with me to do that and uh, hopefully I find some great painting ideas. Okay, so the first thing I want to do when I get out here is I definitely want to go see the bison. Now I see them every year I come out here and I already do have a good painting idea that I have um, that I'm going to be working on in the next couple of years and I think uh, I just want to come and see them and and go from there. In fact, is that, what are those in the trees there? Is that bear cubs? What is that in the tree there? Do you see that? Okay, so this is super random. In the, in the bison enclosure, I just spotted two bear cubs up in this tree. So let's try and get a little bit closer and see if I can uh, get a little bit of uh, footage of them. They're just up in the tree. The two of them, they're just sleeping. And they're kind of moving around like they're trying to get comfortable a little bit. I don't see the mom anywhere around, but it's it's pretty thick down there, so I, I don't know if I'd be able to see her. But this is really awesome. And if there was ever a time for some inspiration, I think uh, I think something like this could be it right here. Now that we just saw those bears, which was really unexpected, um, now it's time to go and see some bison. And just off in the distance here, I think we can already see some. So we're just gonna head over there and uh, see if we can see these bison. And uh, hopefully I get some good ideas.
Okay, so I just stopped because I want to get some better photos of some aspen trees, especially with some yellow leaves on them because those two little cubs that we saw in the tree earlier was just such a unique experience. I really, really love that. Um, I don't know how I'd make that into a painting, but I just want to gather as much reference as I can and really just see if there's something uh, that I can do with that. That's such a unique thing that I've seen. I've, I haven't really seen a lot of that in the park before. And so if I can somehow make that into a painting, I, I would just love to be able to do that. So I'm just gonna hop out and grab some photos of some aspen trees. Okay, that's really great. You know, I didn't get a lot of um, unique ideas uh, today, except for that one with the bear cubs. And I really like that. The more I think about it and the more I take a few pictures today, I'm really liking what I had seen. And so I still have a few days here. So I'm just gonna keep going and taking some pictures and keep exploring and uh, I'll see what I can find tomorrow. All right, so another day in the park and hopefully today some more great painting ideas and hopefully some wildlife. So I'm gonna hit the road, hopefully Highway 10 and uh, go from there and uh, let's see if we can find something. We've just spotted a bear and I'm just gonna quickly pull up and stop, see if I can get some good pictures of it. It's pretty far away, but that's not too bad. I should be able to get some good stuff. Okay, that was great. Not even 10 or 15 minutes down the highway and already a bear, so that's yeah. a great sighting. Yeah, that's really, really good. So I think I got some good pictures, definitely got some good video. Um, but uh, all right, let's leave this bear alone and keep driving down the highway and see what else we can find. Actually, from the highway, I spotted this really great little thing of aspen trees, and I thought it would be perfect um, for a background for that bear that I just saw like an hour ago. And I think this is the beauty of this park, is that you can just come here and ideas will just happen. And that's what's happened to me in the past. So I'm driving along and I see this really great area of trees here and I think just these really yellow aspen leaves for this bear could make a really really great idea. I don't know if this is something I would actually paint but I'm here 
Might as well take some pictures and uh, see what I can come up with. You know, it's not really anything too particularly fancy. I just really like the color and, you know, maybe it's the kind of thing that I could move some of the trees around and even some of these other ones that are just in behind here seem to be pretty good. So, so I'm just gonna take a few more pictures and uh, see, uh, see if I like this. It's the third and final day of my visit to Riding Mountain, and it's a bit of a rainy day, but that's okay. I, in the past, um, sometimes on these rainier days, I've seen more wildlife. They seem to come out of the bush a little bit more, um, and I've had really, really great wildlife sightings on, on some rainy days. Um, it probably means I won't be doing a lot out of the vehicle. I might just be photographing some stuff from the car, but that's okay too because on these overcast days, I really like the lighting for this kind of uh, for this kind of day. And like a number of painting ideas and and certain things that I like are really good with this nice, soft, diffused overcast light. So I'm just gonna keep driving down uh, the highway here and just kind of slowly going along, see if I can see some animals and see if I can find some good painting ideas. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I, I really, really like these tamaracks here. They have this almost like a golden, orangey, yellow color. And I think this would be the kind of thing where um, what I'd love to do is put like a blue jay or something in there, like some kind of, you know, bird um, that has that color that offsets that really, really orange color, that really orange, yellowy color of the tamarack. So I, I think I'm just gonna stop here and take a few photos of these trees because the the color is just so rich and I, I think I really really would like something like that for a painting to just put like like a blue jay on these tamarack branches these really really yellow vibrant uh, tamarack branches Okay, that's great. Um, you know, it's not like a, a super complex idea. I would probably only do something, you know, small like a like a 10 by 16 or, or, or 12 by 18 or something like that. But I really like these small ideas and just like these simple, subtle things that you can do where you can have that really great color contrast between having a, a blue, blue jay um, on those yellow tamarack branches. I, I, I really, really like that. Okay, so I've been driving around for quite a while now, just sort of exploring, and I haven't really seen too much that's caught my eye. I also haven't seen any wildlife. I, I saw one deer that just took off into the bush as soon as I, I turned the corner. Um, but I did pass this spot um, earlier today, and I've passed it a couple times in the last couple days, and and it's this really great spot just with all these tamarack trees just on the side of this creek that I'm gonna stop at here. And I think over the last couple days, the tamarack trees have really, really turned. 
and they've changed color so much and that yellow that golden yellow is super super vibrant so I'm just gonna pull up over here and I'm gonna walk down through there just to kind of get to the spot where there's this row of tamarack trees that I really really like I'm not sure um, what kind of background this would be but I just love the color so much I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna just uh, see what I can come up with One of the things I love most about coming to this park is all the unique opportunities that I've had to paint some of the experiences that I've had. To see some really great natural environment and some really great wildlife. And this scene behind me that I just saw is something that I've driven past many, many times. And it's this type of thing that I love, these kind of surprises of something that I've seen over and over again. But because of the change of season and the unique light, all of a sudden it inspires me in a new way. And I really enjoy coming up to the park for that reason, to be able to get these unique ideas and that unique experience. It's really been an amazing time here to see the colors, and to see the animals and to see this park the way it is. It's such a beautiful place. I love coming here. I'll continue to come here to continue to be inspired by the unique natural wonders that Riding Mountain has to offer. Okay, so one last thing before I leave you. We were just on our way out of the park and we turned this corner and there was a large bull moose. So he didn't stick around too long. Uh, for us to see him, but what a great sight and what a beautiful animal. great when you can get that really nice surprise from a wildlife sighting like that you turn a corner and there it is and so thank you so much again for joining me I'll see you back in my art studio when I start making some of these into paintings mm -hmm.